Welcome to Cosmic Currents. Today, we're in my bathroom working on a project that I didn't think I was going to have to work on. I was dreading working on it. <sighs> the medicine cabinet. Okay. I'm dying to change that light, but that's a whole other day. So the medicine cabinet. Here, here were my thoughts for this. I honestly thought that my bathroom was going to be the first room that would be completely done in my house because it was the smallest room and I felt it was complete. Well, the contractor painted the walls the wrong color. I wanted a white bathroom. We're just going to move on from that one. My floors never got done. Okay. And I wanted to take this cabinet completely out. But as a homeowner, I'm learning that not everything that you want to do, you can do. So I am going to have to work on this bad boy myself. So let me show you what this looks like. All right, so this um, medicine cabinet is original to the house, like 1954, okay? So, you know, it's got all of this like stuff on it. I don't know what this stuff is, like paint, whatnot. <sighs> this is what I've been dreading. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, Jesus, I hate. I hate even like touching it and looking at it. Oh my God. Look at this. Ugh. This is what the previous owner left us with. And at this point we've been in this house for four months and we have just not touched this at all. But um, I can't chisel it out. These walls are like plaster concrete and to chisel it out would just be a hot mess so we're gonna try and save this bad boy that's what we're gonna do and, and you can see that this is actually um original to the house because you see that little slot right there back in the 1950s um when men would shave they would use those little like gillette blades and once they were done with the blade they would dump the blade in that slot so <laughs> One day, if ever this house gets gutted and these walls get torn down, there will probably be a deposit of blades in the wall. So, but we're just going to leave that alone. So, yeah, this is, um, this is what I'm going to be working on today. I don't even know what I'm going to do, y'all. Just, I guess, just keep watching. Oh, Jesus, help me. So, the first thing we're going to do is cut this. Praise God gone done and we are going to get rid of that because that's just ugly all right the next thing we're going to do you know it i don't know why i'm wearing these gloves i should be wearing chemical resistant gloves these are the wrong gloves to be wearing Oh, Jesus Christ. This is just gross. Let me get my, my other gloves. Clouds are stirring up the sky. I was always in denial of what I saw. I'm so damn lost What I loved and what I lost But let's get lost in love tonight Hear a second voice inside my head It's telling me to say tonight again And hold on to the words we always say it would be forever, forever Wait another day to clear my thoughts Or jump into a love that won't be forgotten Forever
Alright, so I have just sanded everything, okay, and we're letting it dry. Um, you know, that was the best I could do. I took off as much of the gunk and um, the mold as I could. I scraped it down, and I'll probably give it another wipe down with some more Clorox before I paint it, because, I mean, this, this thing was serious, y'all. It really was, okay. Um, my only issue, I have two issues actually, issue number one, um, this right here, so that's like inside of the mirror, so I don't know how I'm going to fix that, because I'm thinking, because anything is possible in Casa Karen's, anything is possible, I was debating whether to do a black trim, or a gold trim comment below what do you think should it be gold or should it be black I guess you'll find out at the end of the video if you keep watching um, but I think I might have to like do a really really straight line with some painters tape and actually like paint the mirror this part of the mirror the color of the trim and I think that I think that might work to cover this thing up because I don't it's like inside the mirror. I don't even know. Um, what was my second issue? I don't even remember what my second issue was. Oh, my second issue. So I have um, what do I have? Um I have a bunch of stuff here. I got some appliance epoxy. If you saw me spray paint my refrigerator, if you haven't, you should totally watch that. Some clear coats. Got to cover that bad boy some more epoxy um but i also have some chalk paint so i don't know would should i use the appliance epoxy or should i use chalk paint i don't even know so i'm actually gonna like google it right now because if if i use chalk paint it'll be easier on the inside i'm not gonna spray the epoxy because it's gonna the overspray is gonna get everywhere and i'm not into that right now so if I do the epoxy, if you hear my kids in the back, it is what it is. Um, if I do the epoxy, I'm just going to go outside, spray it in a cup, and paint that bad boy with a brush. Because we do not want overspray. Because I am not trying to cover all this wainscoting um, or this bath fitter. Like, no thank you. Okay, so I guess you just have to just keep watching to see what I decide. Christmas time. You're seeing this later on, but right now it's it's December 20th. No, December 19th, that way. But it's Christmas time, and I'm not trying to be in a store right now. But I want to get this project done right now. So, alright, so I made a decision. I'm going to do the inside with my chalk paint because I already have. And then this outside. Because I have this issue on the bottom, I'm going to wait till the inside dries really well. And then I'm going to use my appliance epoxy. Thank you for because, <laughs> because I'm going to try to paint like a ball. I don't know if that makes any sense. Like make the black line, the black border thicker down here. 
and I'm thinking that the appliance epoxy might stick better to the mirror. I might be wrong, but it is what it is. So that's what we're doing. So we're giving it a chance to dry because as I was um, applying another coat, it was just pulling the previous coat. So I let it dry and we took a break. Malta Goya, la Malta del momento para ti. Totally not sponsored. So there's the final product. What do I think? I hate it. <laughs> I really do, I hate it. I mean, it's like the paint has already come off of here. This down here is just so absolutely ugly. Um, so, I mean, is it functional for now? Of course it is. Of course it is. I'm storing my things. Um, it's clean at least, but it's, it's ugly. I mean, it's dusty. Ooh, I gotta clean that. The dust be getting in here. But yeah, my thoughts. I don't like it. Um, gotta get myself on Pinterest and and figure out what we're gonna do uh, to fix that mirror. But at least I did it, y'all. Subscribe, hit like. You know what to do, y'all. <laughs>